On page 601 of your textbook, problem number 3A. What they're asking you to do, they first of all state in the question that what they want you to do is write the steps in the complete, notice that word complete, ionization of the following polyprotic acids. A polyprotic acid has more than one hydrogen to give. And as I zero in on these guys, you can see all of them have several hydrogens. Two, two hydrogens on the H2SE. We have three hydrogens on the H3SO4 and two hydrogens on the H2SO3. So as you look at these guys, you got to say well, what's going to happen when they give a proton to a water molecule. So this is what we start out with. We always start out with water as a liquid, which means it has no part in the ionization constant. And then we have the acid, the H2SE. And now, as we go over to the other side of the equation, the H2SE is going to give away one of its hydrogens. And that hydrogen is going to the water. And that gives us H3. O1 plus. That is the hydronium ion. So now you have the hydronium ion and now we look over here when this guy gives away one of the hydrogens what is he going to look like? So we go over here and we write this guy with one less hydrogen and so that has H S E and what do you think the charge is? We lost a positive charge, so what is that going to make this? A 1 minus, because it has one more electron than it has protons now. Because back here, it was balanced. Over here, it's not. So, this is the first ionization. First ionization means that it's lost its first hydrogen ion and this is what the whole thing looks like. So now let's go back and we're not done. We have to get rid of all these hydrogens. That's what they're talking about when they say complete ionization. So it's already lost one, so we're going to start with the one that has only one hydrogen ion, which was the guy over here. Okay, And we're going to have him react with water again. H2O as a liquid going to again another hydrogen ion or a hydronium ion that is as a one plus charge and the thing that's going to be left is what this guy looks like with one more hydrogen gone. When we take the hydrogen away we also take away a positive charge which makes it go more negative and so now we're going to have Se 2 minus. Now let's look and see who's the acid and who's the base. This guy is the acid. This guy is the base. And now the conjugate base of this acid is going to be this guy. This is the conjugate base. And we're going to join those like this. Now this base is going to have a conjugate acid and that's going to be the hydronium ion. So now this guy is the conjugate acid. And we join these guys with a line like this. Remember that this guy is aqueous, he's dissolved in the water. This guy is aqueous, he's dissolved in the water and this guy is aqueous because he's dissolved in the water and this dude when we do a constant an equilibrium constant for the acid ionization this guy is not going to be there same deal here the water is never in the acid ionization uh, K sub A which is the K equilibrium for the acid and that's it for this one